Today, we interview Sophia Schottkiss, a student from the School of American Ballet who performed in the New York City Ballet production of George Balanchine's The Nutcracker at Lincoln Center. Please welcome Sophia Schottkiss. Hi, Sophia. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you for taking time to talk to me today. I really appreciate that you invited me to. You are a star. <laughs> You know, and not just any star, a dancing star. You know, yeah. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> do you think I can do it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll ballet after this? Yeah. Okay, let's start with the basics. How old are you, Sophia? I'm 10 years old. And what school do you go to? I go to North Shore Hebrew Academy. Do you like your school? Yeah. What do you like about your school? Well, I love learning Hebrew and learning new things. It's very fun. And you also attend the uh, School of American Ballet. How long have you been dancing? Well, I went to a different ballet school to the point, and I've been dancing there for about three years. And then I started dancing at the School of American Ballet for four years. And what is your favorite part about dancing? It's like you're, you have to learn exact how you do it, and it has to be very, very nice and graceful, and I love being um, very straight in posture and being graceful, and I love learning new things in like that way. Well, you are very graceful in posture. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I am, you know? I mean, like, is graceful just doing this? Is graceful just doing this? Like, what is it about being graceful? Well, it's really about just thinking about doing everything the way you think, like you think about doing it. And so now you said you were at one school for three years and another school for four years, and you're 10. That means you were dancing since you were three years old. About then. When you uh, started dancing, how does it make you feel? Like, what did it feel like? How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? I loved dancing when I was little. I always posed for pictures, and um, I just really liked it. And I found, and I just always loved dancing. I like to dance too, but you're on a whole new level. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk about that new level. So you performed in the Nutcracker this year. What role did you play? I played a toy soldier in the battle scene. How did you? How did that start? How did you get there? I, well, I, I was so excited. I've always watched it ever since I started. I've always wanted to be one of those fun roles, something fun and graceful and something that you have to work so hard and it's so fun, making new friends. I was so excited when I got in. And at the audition, I just, I didn't get into one of the parts, but I believed that I would get into the soldier and I got in. I think a soldier is a big deal, right? Because soldiers have to be, like you said, graceful, but they have to be actually yeah. very particular about yeah. their movements. And one of the things you just said, which is I think is a powerful statement, was that you auditioned and you didn't get the first part that you wanted, but you went back and tried again. Yeah. How did you find the strength to do that? Well, really, when um, I called my dad and my mom told me that it's gonna be okay, I did, there was a lot more kids than the Angel audition for the Soldier audition, and it was older kids. There's a lot of kids two years above me, like um, Marie's age, the main character. There was a lot of girls who had a lot of experience, and I didn't know if I would get in. I felt very worried, but when, I, when they kept on taking out a few groups, when there was like one last group left, I felt so proud of myself that I believed that I would get in, and I, and I got in. And that's a great feeling, right? When you know yeah. you worked hard for something and you, you did it, right? I really thought I was dreaming. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I'm dreaming because I'm sitting here next to a ballerina <laughs> who's in the Nutcracker. <laughs> Five me. Because, you know, I'd pinch, but I'm, I might hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> but what's one of the coolest activities you do while performing in the Nutcracker? So I have my own tiny part in it. Really? It's not tiny if you're in it. Tell me. <laughs> well, there's a cannon that they sh shoot cheese, and um, I get to stuff it. And it's really fun because I love um, when I stuff it. I, a lot of the audience really laughs because it, like cheese comes out and everything, and it's really it's really fun time for me to do that. And I always wait for it every performance. Do you think we can stuff cheese in a cannon? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find a cannon for us to stuff. 
bring some <laughs> cheese, mozzarella, <laughs> uh, cheddar, Swiss. <laughs> can we shake on that? Yeah. All right. Stay tuned, people. We're throwing cheese out of cannons. <laughs> I don't know when, I don't know how, but it will happen. <laughs> okay? All righty. How many performances were there for the Nutcracker? 26 performances, there were 26. That you performed in? Yes, and in total there's, there was 52. So 52, so you did half of the performances. Yeah. That's a lot. How did you balance that with school, uh, you, know, you, you know, being a dancer at the School of American Ballet, and just overall, you know, it was around the holidays, like, you know, how did you manage all of that? Your homework, hanging out with friends? Well, really, I ha I do it two, twice a week. Mm -hmm. um, I skip the Friday class because I'm a Sabbath absorber. Mm -hmm. But um, it's I go to New York. I transport to New York City twice a week, and I do my homework on the train. And my my grandparents they take me, and I really appreciate that they do. And um, so I do my homework on the train, I study, I hang out with friends on Fridays and at school, um, and I leave school early usually to, um, to get to the city. Yeah. That's a lot of dedication, especially doing your homework on the train. <laughs> you know, like, if I was on the train, I wanna listen to music, you were doing homework, you're probably doing like math and reading. Yeah. Shake my hand, you're important, I like this. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm learning notes. <laughs> do homework on the train. Food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> what do you normally like to dance to? What kind of music? Well, I like very, like, fat, not fast, but very powerful music. I mm. like it when it's like, I like, gra like, very graceful, but like the soldier, the battle scene music, it's very strong, and I really liked it because, um, the, the counts fit in and everything fit in so perfectly and it's so so like I love when it's very just powerful it's very like strong music I like that loud music and everything okay that's great that's wonderful and when you are not doing like uh, when you're not t taking your classes right you take classes at the, the School of American Ballet what do you listen to outside of that well, I do piano, Ooh. I do tap and jazz. I like learning at school, it's very fun for me. Okay. And yeah, that's really what I do. How long have you been playing the piano? I've been playing the piano for about five years. Do you find that your piano lessons help you with your dancing? Yes, because there's actually a pianist playing the piano in class and I really, whenever I hear the music, I always wonder what notes she's using, and I see her hand. It's very, like, it's very um, moving softly on the chords that it makes me very um, curious about, like, how she does that and everything. That's pretty amazing that you think like that. You, you, so there's a lot of senses that you use in dancing that I've never, you know, at least heard in this manner. So you're dancing, you're moving gracefully, but you're also paying attention to the keys and the gracefulness of the person who's a... Uh, guiding the music. Very cool. Now, you have made a lot of friends at the Nutcracker, at the, America, the, the School of American Ballet. You've made a lot of friends, obviously, at school, right, at your academy. But there's something really cool that happens when you're in your performances, right? Tell me about that. It's, it's about pointed shoes. I just learned this. You, you, oh, you yeah. So we have to tell the world that this is happening, because they might want some, too. If you're a kid in any show, The Nutcracker, you can write notes to the New York City Ballet dancers and you, you write them a nice note um, telling them that you love, um, you love watching them dance and they're very graceful and then you ask if, you, if, they, would lend, if they would give you some point shoes like these. You write them a note. And, and you write the dancers or not? Yeah. Okay. These are point shoes from Ashley Hodd, who's from Long Island, from my community. And she, she, she like, she wrote Dream Big and XOXO. She, they always write, like, nice things on it. And then what do you do with them? You Do you, like, earrings? Like, <laughs> what do you do with them? You, do you wear them? Do well, actually, you don't wear them. They're collectibles. You wow. you can frame them. You can, you can like, put them on a table. You, you, you just, um, you keep them for, like, 
to remember your experience. Very cool. I want to give somebody my point shoes. <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you might find at your door might be my shoes <laughs> okay and do you have any of these frames in your home well I have one pair of point shoes which I didn't get from I didn't write a note to the um, dancer I got point shoes from Sarah Mearns which um, when I got into SAB someone got point shoes for me Oh, yeah. that's nice. So you don't even have to write a note. Somebody will just leave you point shoes. That's really sweet. Yeah. That's really exciting. And um, I got, f I think, five pairs. Wow. So um, it was really, it's really exciting to get point shoes. And it's really exciting to see, oh, my God, I, I guess they li liked my note. I'll write more. And mm -hmm. Because I, always, I was so, like, positive about getting it. It made me feel like, it's like it's like I spoke to them in person. Aww. It's it's really fun. You are doing some incredible work and everyone is proud of you. I know your parents are proud of you, but you you're catching the attention of a lot of important people. Who sent you awards? Well, I got awards actually because I was in the Great Neck newspaper, the Great Neck News. There was an article about me, so I guess um, the New York Assembly and the state official heard about it and the New York Assembly sent me a certificate and I got a note from one of the state officials. How did that make you feel? Well, I got it at school and mm -hmm. when, when people are like, what is that, what is that? My teachers read it in front of the class and it made me feel really proud because everyone was clapping and everyone was like, wow, that's so cool. And it really made me feel good. You should, you it made should. Me feel proud. Very exciting. Okay, so you've done the Nutcracker, you've done all your performances. Are you tired? Well, when I get home, I, the train ride is about an hour, so I'm, sometimes my mom takes me to school late because I'm very tired in the morning. <laughs> And I get pretty cranky, <laughs> so <laughs> um, <laughs> she takes me to school in the morning most of the, um, the day after the performance, and um, I really appreciate that she does. Mm. So um, um, yeah, I get pretty tired after the show. Um, sometimes when I get home, I just run to my bed and just collapse on it because I just. I just don't know what else to do. I don't blame I'm you. I'm tired. I don't, you're stuffing cheese and cannons. You're <laughs> chasing mice. I mean, come on. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. I'm with you. Uh, and, you know, you're doing all this and you're a, a straight A student, right? Yeah. You're doing well in school. Yeah. And you have a really great family that supports you. How does, you say grandma and grandpa yeah. takes you to practices, mom and dad, you know, make sure that you, you get to school. And then you have siblings too. Tell me about your siblings. Well, when I got in, my brother goes, I am so upset you got in. Oh. You, <laughs> he's like, he, he's like, I'm so upset you got in. Now I'm gonna have to watch 20 shows, and I'm gonna have oh. to go all the time, and it's gonna be so annoying, and I'm gonna have to watch all these ballerinas, and I'm gonna have to watch all these graceful things, it's gonna be so boring. And my sister, well, she was positive about it. Right, did yeah. you have to actually watch all 26 performances? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. he got to watch like, Few, a so, few. Yeah. I'm trying to watch like, like one of them. <laughs> you know, tell him we'll t I'll trade places with him. <laughs> so who's who's the oldest? My sister Simone. Okay. Well, she's probably very excited that I mentioned her because she's always wanted to be on TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's give her a shout out. Say that's your camera right there. Say hi, Simone. Hi, Simone. And then your brother too. Hi, Jonah. Hi, Jonah. He's probably not listening right now. That's okay. <laughs> he might. He might. He might say, oh, another performance to watch. But we said his name. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite dancer? Who's your favorite ballerina or dancer in general? Well, um, Misty Copeland. Ooh. I was her for, she's not New York City Ballet. She's ABT. But I was her for, an, for a um, project. And um, it was so fun learning about her. Reading books about her made me feel like um, I'm going to be, um, I want to be like her someday. Um, so really, um, I did this last year. And when I kept, I'm at the audition, I really um, kept thinking about all the, all the ballerinas, and I kept and I kept thinking about how graceful they are and how they, um, how on stage they look like they're having so much fun. So when I thought about that. Really, I got in and it made me happy. So I really appreciate 
pre appreciated um, doing a project about Miss Lee Copeland. Okay. She's a great dancer. She's a really good dancer. Uh, Shout out to Misty Copeland. How, have you thought about writing her for some shoes? She's an ABT. She doesn't do New York City Ballet. Okay, so, so ABT, American Ballet Theater? Yeah. Okay. I think you should still write her. Yeah. Let's see if we can get her point shoes. I think the Marie, um, the girl who was in, who was Marie, I saw a note that said to Misty Copeland. So oh. I guess maybe I can write right. her. Right. I mean, you said, you remember, you didn't think you would get into the, you wasn't sure if you want to get into the Nutcracker, yeah. and it happened, it was like a dream. <laughs> I think if you write Misty, you might be able to get her point shoes. Yeah. And when you do, you gotta come back and show me, yeah. okay? Um, if I get in next year, I'll try to Are you write try there. Next year? Yeah. Do you know if they're gonna be performing next year? Well, I really, really am hoping to be in a scene that I found I found f watching really fun. I really like the party scene. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be too tall, but um, I find it really fun to watch because it's like real life. They they say hello, they give hugs, they dance. It's really fun and. Um, since I'm in the dressing room then, everyone crowds around. We don't even have our costume on yet. Mm -hmm. The dressers have to like pull us away to get a costume on. We, everyone loves to watch the party scene and I hope that next year if I work hard I can at least audition for it. And, and that's for the Nutcracker, the party scene yeah. in the Nutcracker. Okay, so I'm crossing my everything for you. You cross with me, cross with me. Cross, we're crossing, we're crossing. <laughs> we also know it's hard work. Okay, we're still crossing. Okay, good. I feel like that was good vibes and good energy. And I've always wanted to be Marie. You always want to be dream. Marie? Okay, well here, I'll tell you what. No matter what happens, you can come here and perform for us. <laughs> Deal? Deal. Deal. And I'll do it with you. <laughs> But I need neon tights, though. Okay. Neon tights. And I don't know about point shoes. Maybe, like, <laughs> fancy sneakers okay. that light up. Deal? Yeah, Shake on it. We got a lot to do. We got cannons to, like, shoot from, <laughs> ballet to do. Okay. So, for anyone who's watching, right, anyone who's like, wow, I want to be a dancer, or I want to go to the, the School of American Ballet, or I want to be like Misty Copeland, what would you tell them or what would you say to encourage them? What kind of advice would you give them? Well, as I said about the audition, when I believed in myself, I got in. And I, I think that you should always believe in yourself because it's something that just, if you don't believe in yourself, sometimes I say to my friends in art class, oh, my work is so bad, your work is so good. They say, you have to believe in yourself, it's so good. So, so you know, for everything, not just dance or just, you always have to believe in yourself because if you don't, you're not gonna do everything the right way, and you're gonna think maybe if I if I believe if I don't believe in myself, I'll get everything right. But really, if you believe in yourself, you'll get everything the way you want it. That you'll get the like for me, I got for the soldier audition. Um, everything was really I worked out fine. I knew all the steps, and at the end, when all the shows were over, I knew all the steps by heart. Mm. You gonna teach me the steps later? Yeah. Well, I think that's great advice. I believe in myself. I believe in you, you know, and for anyone who's watching, that's great advice. Believe in yourself. Here's a product of someone who believes in themselves. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank well, you. thank you so much for coming and sitting with us today. I really appreciate having you here. Thank you. Let's shake some more. Get some <laughs> of that belief energy from you. Okay? You're going to come back, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like to thank our guest, Sophia Schatzkiss, for coming on and talking to us today. If you are a rising star or you know a rising star, please send us a note at the email address below. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us on any one of the social media handles. I'm your host, Carlene Lavelle. Thank you for watching.